When visitors come here to the Heinz History Center, they often come to explore some of the popular exhibits like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and Pittsburgh, a tradition of innovation. But before you take the elevators to check out those, make sure that you hit the brakes to check out this amazing collection of historic vehicles right here in the first floor Great Hall. Here to take us for a spin is President and CEO Andy Masick. Hey, it's good to have you here, Selena. <laughs> oh, We're yeah. in the Great Hall and we're standing in front of the Conestoga wagon. This is what people took to get here from Philadelphia 250 years ago. It's kind of like a boat and it's kind of like a wagon. You could ford streams and rivers with it and bring your whole family on an adventure. It's so cool. Well, I'm ready to check out one of the oldest vehicles because I have a Jeep at my house. My husband has it. I want to learn more. Well, let me show you the very first one. Look at this thing, Andy. It is the oldest Jeep on planet Earth and was built right here in Western Pennsylvania in 1940. The American Bantam Car Company of Butler, Pennsylvania responded to an RFP, that's Request for Proposals, from the War Department. They wanted a vehicle that would replace the horse on the battlefield. And in 49 days, they came up with this. It could pull a cannon, it could jump dirt berms, it could, it, it didn't way any more than a large horse and it changed warfare and every SUV on the planet today owes its heritage to that little car. So cool that it's here on the first floor in the Great Hall. Well, we got to check out more vehicles, Andy. Let's go. Let's go. Andy, this vehicle looks brand new. It does look brand new, but it has over 300,000 miles on it. It was made in 1936. The Ford Motor Company found out that in Pittsburgh, they made a steel that didn't rust. They called it the Allegheny Metal. And Henry Ford said, I gotta have a car made of that stuff. I want a car made of stainless steel. Well, they made four of them in 1936, and they drove them back and forth across the country just to demonstrate the properties of stainless steel, the Allegheny Metal. Well, it was too heavy. They couldn't roll it thin enough, so they never went into mass production. This car weighs about 50% more than any other 1936 Ford. Wow, are we able to take any of the vehicles down here for a spin? Well, there is one vehicle that just came in recently. It's the first electric car ever built by Westinghouse. I gotta check it out, let's go. Andy, this is a stunner. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. 1965, Westinghouse Electric here in Pittsburgh made an electric car. They called it the Marquette, and this is the prototype. It was donated by David Campbell here in Pittsburgh, and it's got six volt batteries, a dozen of them, and the thing runs like a top. You want to take a ride? I'm ready. Let's do it. This is so cool. <laughs> we'll catch you later, everybody. Look at that. All right, slow down, Andy. You're getting to the end of the, the room. Wait, <laughs> the fact that that one car had 300,000 miles on it, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it Is be it, nice if to If everything be able ran that long? Yeah. They don't make them like they used well, to. Well, no, and to think about an electric car that Westinghouse came up with right. that years ago, and now that's what we're talking about, electric cars. So yeah. neat. All right, great Our thanks, tour. Our thanks to Andy and Selena for that.